Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new topic that is setup and teardown. So, what is this setup and teardown in the JavaScript testing? So, let's try to see. So, to organize our specs, sorry, here it is a specs more. So, we need to know about the setup and teardown. So, to organize our specs more, we need to know about the setup and teardown. So, this is one of the important uh, concept in our JavaScript testing in Jasmine also. Setup and teardown is a part of the life cycle for our suits. So if you are having a suit, so suit is used to uh, how we can how we can create a suit using the describe method in the Jasmine. So setup and teardown plays the uh, plays a part something like life cycle for our suits. So in Angular, how we have the life cycle hooks, right? So constructor, ng on it like that. So setup and teardown is also one of the part for the life cycle for the suit, not for the spec for the suit. Setup is where you place prerequisites for your specs. So setup means nothing but setup and teardown in that one first one. Setup is nothing but where you place prerequisites for your specs. So prerequisites means nothing but the, so before when are the specs before running. So where you want to place these prerequisites, we will be using this setup. When this setup will execute is it executes before every time the specs are run. Jasmine offers two methods for this one. So in the setup, the setup concept in the setup concept. So when the setup methods will be executed is before every time, before every time the specs are run. So uh, specs are run. So we will be using this, uh, the setup methods will be executed. So it executes before every time the specs are run. So Jasmine offers two methods for this one. What are, what are those two methods? Those two methods are nothing but before each and before all. So these are the two setup methods. So before each and before all. So what does this before each and before all will do is before each is executed before each spec in the suit in which it is called. So that means before each method when you write a before each method in a suit in a test suit. So this will be executed before each time whenever a spec is executed a spec in the suit is executed this before each method will be executed and then afterwards the suit will be called uh, sorry the spec will be executed. So before every time the spec execution this before each method will be called. For example, if you have 10 specs in the suit, so if you are having 10 specs in the suit and you have a before each method, that before each method will be executed 10 times. That means one time before each spec execution. So that is a useful for the before each method. So whenever you want to initialize, whenever you want to initialize the, the constructor or any object or anything before any spec means you can use this before each method. In that before each method, you can write the initialization and all those things and you can use it in the specs. So this is where we'll be using this before each method. And before all is also very similar to before each, but it is executed only once before all the specs in the suit in which it is called. So that means before all the specs are running before running only this before all will be executed only once. So that means if you are having the same 10 specs in your suit and we have before all call in it, it will be executed only once before all the 10 specs gets executed. So this is there is no now execution every time. So there is no execution every time. So not now there is no execution every time. So every time this before all method will not be executed. Whereas this before each method will be executed before each spec run. So whereas this before all spec it will be executed only once before all the specs execution. Now this is all about the setup and the setup uh, has two methods that is before each and before all. And we have understood about this before each and before all methods also when it will execute. Now let's try to learn about this teardown. Teardown in the life cycle of our suit is used to clean up the steps for our specs. So now the teardown, the setup methods will be called before each time the specs execution, whereas the teardown will be called after all the specs execution. So most probably these where we'll be using this teardown methods is for cleaning up the steps in your specs for cleaning up and all these things. So you will be using this teardown methods. Just like the on destroy method, so how you will be using the destroy method in a class. So in the same scenario, it will be used. Teardown methods are executed after all specs are run. So teardown methods will be executed after all the specs are run. Jasmine offers two methods that are part of this teardown cycle. So those two methods are nothing but after each and after all. So these are the two methods that Jasmine offers for the teardown methods. Whereas setup method says before each and before all. And this one is after each and after all. After each is executed after all the specs in the suit in which it is called. 
So that means after each is executed, after all the specs in the suite, in which it is called. So for example, if you have the 10 specs in the suite, and if you have after each method in it, this will be executed one time per spec. That means it will be executed 10 times. So that means every time when a spec is executed, after the spec execution is completed, this after each method will be called. Before each means before running the spec it will call, after each means after completion of the spec, after each will be called. So the after each will better will be called 10 times. So after each spec execution, this after each, met each method will be called. And another one, after all. After all is executed once after all the specs in the suite is executed. So after all, exe after all is executed only once after all the specs in the suite is executed. So for example, if you have 10 specs in the suite and if you have after all method in it, this will be executed only once after all the specs are run. So this is the meaning for that one. So if you are having 10 specs in the suite means, so after executing all the 10 specs, then after all method, it will check for that whether after all method is there or not. If it is present in the suite means, it will execute the after all method. So this is all about the setup and the teardown. So setup and teardown is nothing but the life cycle for a suite. So setup methods are before each and before all and teardown methods are after each and after all. So whenever a spec is executing before execution of this uh, spec, so setup methods will be executed before each and before all like that. And after the spec execution is completed, so after each and after all methods will be executed. So there will be a new difference between this before each, before all and after each and after all. We have seen, right? So this is all about the setup and teardown methods. In the next video, you will see the practical implementation, how we can use this setup and teardown methods in our, uh, ja in our, in our uh, calculator spec program. We will try to see it. Hope you understood about this setup and teardown. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.